So for this one, let's do sine of 3x over sine x. Uh, now the question is, what's the triple angle identity for sine? And now we can go back to here and use this. And we can see that this is the integral. And then we have 3 sine x minus 4 sine to the third power x. And then, of course, all divided by sine x. And we have the dx right here. And now we can cancel things out and then focus on integration. So right here, we will get this over that is just 3. And this over that is minus 4. And then we will just get sine squared x. Good. Integrating this is not so bad. But how do we integrate sine of sine to the second power? We will have to use the power reduction formula for that. So before we do the integration, let me just replace that. So I will still keep the 3. So we have the integral of 3 minus 4. But for the sign of square x right here, I will write this as 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of crazy things right going on. So parentheses here, parentheses here, and then dx. Yeah. So now this right here is just 2 and we distribute it. So you see this right here is 3 minus altogether we have 2. Okay, so it becomes 1 integral 1 okay so this is minus 2 and then this and that is 2 times that is plus 2 cosine of 2x so we have 1 plus 2 cosine of 2x for parentheses because people want me to do that all right now we can integrate for the first one is of course just x because when the x world and then to integrate this you can do a u sub in your head let u equal to 2x and then you can see everything becomes positive sine of 2x. You can also differentiate this real quick. Take the derivative of x, we get 1. Take the derivative of this, don't forget the chain rule, we have to multiply by the 2. Right? Sine gives a cosine of that. So with that, we are done.